everybody and welcome back to Premier Gal. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified when I publish new video editing and production tutorials every week. So in this video, we're diving into proxy video editing. A lot of you guys now are editing video in 4K. And when you play it back in Premiere Pro, sometimes your timeline sort of lags. And that's because these are huge files. So what you can do in Premiere Pro is you can create proxies, which are lower resolution substitutes that you can connect to the original footage and use that substitute in your timeline. So that way you can edit faster and the playback is faster. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so I'm inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC and I'm inside of the media browser where you can browse footage and import it into your project. So I have a bunch of 4K clips here and all of these clips are in a 4096 by 2160 resolution, which is the 4K resolution. And what I want to do is make proxies of all of these in a quarter of the size. So that way the playback will be a lot smoother. So this is where we need to play around with ingest settings. You're going to click on ingest and then click on the open ingest settings wrench. And here is where you can adjust your ingest settings. So of course we want to create proxies. So make sure to have that selected. And then in terms of the preset, this will vary depending on what the resolution of your footage is. But because I want to make a quarter of my 4K footage, if you divide 4096 by 4, you get 1024. And if you divide 2160 into 4, you get 540. And we want to use the H.264 format. So we're going to select that. And in terms of the destination, you can make it the same as your project, which will basically export the proxies into your project folder or to your creative clouds. But I would recommend choosing a location and creating your own custom folder. So I'm going to choose location and inside of my media folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it proxies. And then I'm going to hit create and then choose. And now all of the proxies, when I ingest these footage, will get exported into this destination. So hit OK. The next step is to select all of these clips here, Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to, to select all of them. Then drag them into your project panel. I already created a folder here called footage. So I'm importing these files. And as this is happening, Adobe Premiere Pro will launch open Adobe Media Encoder and send information to export a proxy. So you can see from Adobe Media Encoder here that it's automatically exporting a proxy for each shot. So it has the name of the shot and then it has underscore proxy. And this is being exported into that folder. If I open it up here and I go to our proxy project folder, inside of media, is getting exported directly into this proxies folder that we created. So now these clips are connected to the proxy, but how do you know that? So what you have to do is up here in this top menu area, you're going to right click and click on metadata display. And here underneath Premiere Pro project metadata, select the proxy file path and proxy media file name. And once you hit OK, you will see here in your project panel that not only do we have the video info, which is the resolution of these clips, but we also know that there's a proxy also attached to them. And this is the file name for each. And this is where it's located in this column. OK, so that's how we know that the proxies are there. But what about editing your timeline and how do you switch between the full resolution and the proxy resolution? So to demonstrate, let's just quickly put one of these clips in the timeline here. So let's right click on the seaside cliffs shot and create a new sequence from clip. And right now this is the full resolution. This is 4K and my playback is pretty good, but sometimes it's a little bit slow after you start adding in more clips and more effects, the playback becomes kind of choppy. And you've probably experienced this, which is why you requested this tutorial. But to switch between the 4K and the proxy resolution, 
all you need to do is click on this icon here called toggle proxies. And if you do not see this icon here, you need to click on this button editor and you need to drag this button down into this menu. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And when it's blue, it means that it's using the proxy resolution. Okay, so as I play it back, it's just going to be a lot smoother. And if you're still having issues with playback, all you need to do is change the playback resolution. So you can change the playback resolution to a half a quarter, an eighth, or even a sixteenth. So if I go to an eighth, it's not reducing the quality of the footage any further. It's just reducing the playback. So that way you can play it back faster and it's not fully rendering it out. The preview that is. So now it's just so much smoother. So you can try these techniques to have smoother playback. Another thing that you can do is make sure that underneath Premiere Pro and you go to your preferences and you go to memory, Make sure that you're allocating as much RAM as possible to your Adobe Premiere Pro video Creative Cloud app. So like Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder. In my computer, I have 27 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to it and only five gigabytes dedicated to everything else that's going on on my computer. So this is definitely optimized for performance, which is what we want. And then of course, one other tip I have is if you go up to your project settings from file project settings and go to general, make sure that you're using Mercury playback engine GPU, because once you start adding effects and text, this will definitely speed up the rendering process. So make sure that you're using GPU acceleration, which is activating and using your graphics card on your computer. Okay. So we're going to hit okay. And by the way, GPU stands for graphics processing unit, which is just a fancy way of saying, you know, what type of graphics card does your computer have? So then hit okay. So now you can start building out your timeline. And once you're ready to export it, just click toggle proxies. And now we're working with our full resolution. We can go back to full here and you can go to file and export media and export it in 4k. Um, and that's exactly what it's going to do. So you can see, you can use the YouTube preset 4k and there's an ultra HD, which is 3,840. And a lot of people call this 4k as well. And it is part of the 4k, you know, category, but it's technically just ultra HD And the true 4k. If you match source is 4,096. So if you're exporting 4K, just be sure to match the source. So that way you're not getting the little crops up at the top like I just did. And then you would just hit export and you're ready to upload. So that's all there is to proxy editing in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. If you have any questions about this process, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And here's a question for you guys. Are you guys editing in 4K or even 8K? Or are you still just using 1080 HD? Or if you're editing in 4K, are you exporting your final video as 1080 HD? I'd love to know, leave a comment below. And lastly, be sure to enter my giveaway. I give lots of awesome video prizes each month. So go to premiergal.com giveaways and also be sure to join my Patreon community, patreon.com slash premiergal. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.